But you have to keep in mind that the biggest customer of China is actually the West. So you need to have a global recovery in order for that region to recover most. But it does make sense to tilt the portfolio towards China or towards Asia generally because the virus is moving from that region. It's, it seems to be significantly contained there to the West, where it is uh, unfortunately not yet contained. Okay, uh, I want to uh, you know talk a little bit about uh, the fiscal package which is uh, in the works uh, and Congress is struggling to pass it. Uh, now, the big bone of contention there primarily uh, that the Democrats have with the Republican version of the package is that it doesn't do enough for workers, does a lot more for companies. Do you think uh, that the Republicans have a point there? Because at, at the end of the day, if you can stop companies from defaulting, you can address the entire supply chain of the workforce as well, where job losses can be stemmed. Well, you actually have to address both things. And you've hit on the key point that makes this a key inflection point in this crisis, and that is to what extent are businesses going to go bankrupt uh, over the next few, uh, few weeks even, or, or a month? Uh, I mean, a lot of small businesses which uh, employ about 60% of the of the workforce in the United States, many of them have, let's say, a month's worth of cash on hand. I mean, I've seen some estimates that uh, a number of companies only have 13 days of, of cash available. Obviously, they'll be cutting back as much as they can. Unfortunately, that means laying people off or putting people on unpaid leave. Um, and you basically need to support both sides of the picture. You need to support people who are out of work so they have some money to keep spending, keep the economy going, and of course, keep themselves going. And then also you need to preserve the businesses so they don't go bankrupt, so the jobs will be available once the crisis is over. You need both. Some kind of compromise is essential. Hi, I'm Emily Tan, and thanks for watching CNBC. You can check out more of our videos by clicking on the boxes on the screen. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more. Thanks for watching.